KMOX Radio News at 808. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a story of the West with Lorne Green as your host. Here's a preview. I found him the same way I found that smelly steer out there. Only he ain't worth $15. Saving a man's life is like putting a brand on him. He's your doggy, like it or not. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Here's how to use the old bean to make a tangy bean dip with Joan of Arc Caliente-style chili beans. Our chili beans come in a rich, thick, Caliente-style sauce, perfect for an economical bean dip. Just blend a can of Joan of Arc chili beans with a dash of Tabasco sauce. It's not only tasty, but nutritional. Beans are the number one economical source of protein, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Try them. Just one of the many ways you can use the old bean with a little help from Joan of Arc. They're celebrating at Paint and Paper's new decorating center in Chesterfield with special savings during their grand opening sale at both stores. Stock up now on Fuller O'Brien paint to 10% off. Fuller O'Brien's liquid velvet, regularly $12.40, is now $9.95. Browse through Paint and Paper's complete line of painting sundries and pick up an extra special roller kit now just $1.09 or $2.19 value. Visit Paint and Paper Decorating Center nearest you during their grand opening sale. 7954 Big Ben and Webster, the Four Seasons Shopping Center in Chesterfield, a Graham Mercantile Company. This is Lorne Green. A soldier, his sergeant's uniform in shreds, rides a weary horse across the desolate Wyoming plain. It's a raw and bitter day in 1868. Behind him, the soldier pulls a reluctant steer. Come on, damn you! Move! Move! The soldier hasn't seen it yet, but in the dry wash just ahead, a frightened mare is trying to escape her harness, free herself from the overturned wagon whose helpless driver lies still in a pool of his own blood. And that's only the beginning of our story. A new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week brought to you in Elliot Lewis production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, Powder River Policy by Percy Granger. Adapted from the screenplay by E. Jack Newman. Our stars, John Larch and Sam Edwards. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where value is your byword. Sears where America shops. The word's out and spreading fast about the jeans from Sears Men's Store that grow beautifully. It's a sure sign they're fitting fine and feeling good for the denim that keeps going strong a long time. Get them trim cut, regular cut, even get them pre-washed. The jeans that grow beautifully. Now at most Sears retail stores. To look the height of fashion wherever I go requires many coats. But for home, I need only one coat fashion surrounding me. Sears Best Easy Living Interior Paint. One coat of easy living on the walls and every room looks stunning. Save $3 on every gallon. Choose from 25 decorator colors and easy living latex flat and semi-gloss. Plus bright white ceiling paint for your home. Because with Sears Easy Living Paint, it's one coat when used as directed. At most Sears retail stores. Sale ends March 24th. Now, my mom is checking me out in pretty pink and some bunch of black these tears. That's right. She looks fresh and feminine in these dresses and separate. I can see some silly, colorful dresses, bouncy skirts, pants, and just the right coordinating top. Sizes 7 to 14. Most easy chair fabrics that can be washable. Whether I'm going to a birthday party or just school, my sunny bunch clothes make me feel special. You are special. Thanks, Mom. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. The wind howls, tearing at the 
soldier. The steer becomes more and more unwilling to move. Frightened, it digs in, head down, letting the wind whistle past. You're no good. You're no good at all. You get pampering and currying, and I don't know what all. Ah, uh, uh, shut your silly cut, you and mouth, you dirty, no good steer. All you gotta do is walk. Just put one dumb foot in front of the other. <laughs> I was a good horse trooper, you hear me? And I wasn't never meant to nurse me to man the old Huh? Oh, oh. Yeah. Get the tipped over wagon. Holy. Look at all this stuff. Some guy's whole belongings. Carpet bag, haversack, and food. Coffee, sugar, beans, cornmeal, and and jerky. Oh. oh, thank you, God. I, I haven't had a decent meal and yeah. Huh? Who's that? Who's that? I see you over there hiding behind them bushes. What are you doing? Hello? Hey, mister. Shot. Hmm. I bet you got a few things ought to be left out here, huh? Where's your wallet? Oh, just a couple of greenbacks. Well, you got a nice fancy ring ought to be worth something. And watch. Yeah, what a picture in it. That's a mighty pretty looking lady. I'll just keep that. What's that? Now, it's a book. Hmm. You got the gold leaf edges, though. Where's Cajun? Huh? Oh, heck, he's still alive. Oh. So what am I supposed to do about you, huh? Yo, I'll stick you in the back of your wagon and jump you in the nearest town. If there is one. <laughs> Long as the herd has been moving this way. Yeah, I kind of figured they'd be pulled up here waiting for this windstorm to pass. Sir? Your horse. Army animal? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's that, sir. What are you doing with it? Oh, I meant to say he was an army animal, sir. Was. He's seven year old retired. They, they give me him. They retired him just like it did me. He doesn't look seven years old to me. He's almost seven, is what I meant to say. I got a paper that... Where are you from? Uh, Fort Fetterman, 7th Cavalry Company B. Fort Fetterman? Yes, sir. Fort Fetterman, sir. All right. Oh, yes. What sir. brings you here? Why, this steer. Understand they're paying $15 for stray steers. Is that right? If they were strayed. Oh, he was strayed. I didn't steal him. And this buckboard and the horse are pulling it. They yours, too? Yes, sir. Uh, uh where do I find this steer's trail boss? Where are you headed from here? Cheyenne. Hey, that's where I'm going. Oh, Cheyenne. Why? Fellow there said he'd give me a job crook spot in his saloon. What fellow? What saloon? Harney Deeper. It's a little Cayuse drink pump. Uh, this here's trail boss. Is he around? In the saloon. Uh, well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Soldier? Uh, yeah? What's under that buffalo skin in the back of that buckboard? Oh, it's just a thing, sir. Do you mind if I have a look? Why? 
Because it's got two feet sticking out. I sell draperies at Sears. Yesterday, a lady came in and said that she'd been in and out of about every store in town looking for draperies and at this point didn't know what she wanted anymore. I asked questions about her tastes and decor and then made suggestions. She was thrilled. She found what she wanted and learned a little, too. It made me feel good to know that I helped her out. Sears people are friendly people who help you find what you want. What's the best way to save on new clothes? Sew them. Start by saving $40 on a Kenmore sewing machine at Sears. With a convertible free arm for narrow sleeves, cuffs, and legs, a built-in buttonholer, even six stretch stitches. This free arm Kenmore, just $199.95, and save $30 on a wood new sewing cabinet. Sale ends March 31st. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Available at most Sears retail stores. Kenmore. Solid as Sears. Here comes spring. I know. Isn't the weather lovely? I'm talking about your dress. It's a soft and breezy spring. Soft dressing is what spring is all about. And her dress is from Sears' expressive collection of dresses and skirt sets. Fluid lines and feminine designs. Fine detailing to shape and define in fabrics that move with you. Polyester or polyester and silk in subtle spring shades for quiet excitement. And this is the teeth and half sizes in the dress department at most larger Sears retail stores. Soldier? Uh, yeah? What's under that buffalo skin in the back of that buckboard? Oh, it's a thing, sir. Do you mind if I have a look? Why? Because it's got two feet sticking out. Uh, well, you see... This man's been shot. Yeah. Why'd you shoot him? I didn't shoot him. Who did? I don't know. I picked him up on the trail. What did he say to you? Nothing. He couldn't talk. He was like that when I found him. Still alive. What are you going to do with him? Well, give to you, I reckon. Uh, kind of forgot, I guess. Let me see your discharge paper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here. See, it's honorable. And that there's the paper of ownership for the horse. What are you doing with my papers? Keeping them. Why? That's my policy. Well, Sheriff, I kind of... Shut up and help me take this man inside. I'll grab his top. Well, I'll be looking. A white collar. This guy's a preacher. Now, what's a gospel shop doing around here? Ain't no church anywhere, is there? So this is his ring? Uh, well, yeah, I reckon. All right. Pick him up. Take him into the saloon. I think I, I'd better tell you about that rig and that mare, Sheriff. I, I just want you to know that I had no intention of keeping them for myself. I was going to turn them over to you. Uh, now, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Heck, you oh, 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 I'm sorry, Sheriff. Oh, well, we got a soldier. Can you play the piano? No, ma'am. What do you mean? I never seen no soldier boy couldn't play the piano, piano. Well, I can't. What about the failure carrying? Can he play? I don't know. Well, let's get him sobered up and find out. Get away now. This man's been shot. Right, right, right. Well, we got to get some music around here. The piano player just passed out. Yeah. Okay, soldier. We'll put him here on the roulette table. All right. Hey. Now, get rid of these. Chips, you hear? Make room. Okay, soldier. Okay, start on dress. Do you know Sheriff Mr. Dope ain't gonna like this? Pull off his boots, soldier. Hey, yes, sir. You're interrupting business, Sheriff. I don't give a hoot what I'm doing. Well, I'm just gonna have to go get Mr. Dope. Go ahead. Soldier, give me his coat. Uh, right here. Pockets are empty. Uh, oh, oh, yeah? Well, I, I guess the fellow must have been robbed, huh? Where? Well, I'm... Uh, where do you think you're going? 
Well, I done what you asked. I got to find that trail boss now and get my money for that steer. Soldier, what you're going to do is stay right here. He ain't no cause of mine. You found him. I found him the same way I found that smelly steer out there. Only he ain't worth $15. Saving a man's life is like putting a brand on him. He's your doggy, like it or not. I didn't save his life. He's so far gone now, he couldn't lick his upper lip. You brought him in, so I figured you owe him a little cleaning out. I owe him nothing. Here's a neckerchief and some whiskey. Now start cleaning that wound. I'll be back. What? Hey, where are you going? Hey! <laughs> Damn. Oh. I ain't going to be no granny nursemaid for anybody. Least of all for any no-good Bible converter. I'm getting out of here. Hey, my God. Give me a pair of overalls. Excuse me, will you? He couldn't show us sitting here at 9 o'clock. Hey, soldier. You're forgetting something, ain't you? Uh, what? Your friend on the roulette table. Oh, he's nothing but a Bible-spouting preacher. A preacher? Hey, boy. Boy. I want you all to start behaving yourselves, because that there what just blew in with the tumbleweeds is a real bona fide sin twist. <laughs> He's a little humpy god for a preacher, ain't he? Yeah, somebody sure crawled his up. Oh, no, that's no way to act. Right now, he's as lonesome as a poker chip, and I think we ought to make him win. Hold it! Stop it! Stop it, you hear me? All right, now, you just stay away from him, you hear me? All of you, stay away from him. Well, so does. The next thing you know, you'll be singing us a hymn. Just skip it. Just skip it. I've done my duty, and I'm going. I don't care what anybody says. That sin walker ain't no business of mine. No business of mine at all. He got himself here, not me. His business, not mine. That sheriff got my papers. And I never got my money for that damn no account steer. I gotta go back. When the sheriff returned to the saloon from the back room, he found the wounded preacher lying unattended on the roulette table. The sheriff shrugged. And then as he was about to attend the dying man, the soldier walked back into the saloon. You're back. Where'd you go? Ain't no reason. Ain't no reason at all for me to wear and tear myself and not get some comfort. That preacher ain't no reason. Tomorrow you'll just be a bad itch I can scratch to forget. I come back here to see that trail boss and get what's coming to me for that steer. Yeah. Well, and after I get my money... I'm going to rattle my hocks for a real red, white, and blue poly barber shop. And then I'm going to take me a civilized soaking in hot water with plenty of sweet smelling soap and a big woolly towel. And after that, I'm going to buy me a bottle of good brown bumblebee whiskey and a steak at that thick. <laughs> but before I do any of them things, I want my paper, Sheriff, and I want them right now. I want hot water, a pan, and some towels. Make sure they're clean and don't take too much time. Then follow me back there to that fella. Well, hello there. You come back. Hey, uh, tell me, uh, how long has that sheriff been around here? Well, long enough to know all the lizards by their first name. Well, I don't stay where I don't want to stay, and I don't do what I don't want to do. Yeah? Well, I'm going to ask you something. Why don't you tell the sheriff that? Who's that? That's Mr. Dokes. He's the owner of the saloon. He looks mighty well healed. Yep. And he ain't gonna be none too happy the sheriff's fixing to use his roulette table for an operating slab. <laughs> Theater will return after this message from your local station.
Public Service Savings, we want you to compare the yield on your savings certificate because there is a difference. Public Service offers the highest rate and highest yield on insured savings in the St. Louis area. Plus, we'll give you a cash gift of up to $10 depending upon amount of deposit, one gift per family. So start making every day count with the highest yield on certificates and get your cash gift from Public Service today where saving makes a difference. Money market certificates available. A substantial penalty is required by federal regulation for early withdrawal of certificates. table and get him out of here. Don't touch him. I'm not running a morgue. He's not dead. I'm not running a hospital either. My stove is busted. This is the only warm place in town and he's had all the moving he can stand for one day. May I ask how long you intend to keep him here? As long as it takes to treat him. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be too long. The look of him, he won't last until sundown. Oh, I expect he might. Oh, how's that? I'd say this here fellow's got lots more bleeding to get done before he bucks out. Yeah, for sundown. Would you care to bet on that, my friend? Bet? You just made a statement. I just made a statement. The two statements are convert. So would you care to back up what you said with money? Oh, oh. Look at him. He's in a bad way. Oh. I asked you a question, my friend. I heard you. Uh. It's already 20 after 3. And this is winter. Sun sets quite early. So by my calculation, I say it will set tonight at five after five. Well? Oh, uh, the odds are with you. You can have them. Huh? The odds. Three to two that he won't last until the sun goes down. Well? What do you say? All right. I say it'll be dark for he bellies up. A hundred dollars? A hundred dollars. Is it agreeable to you that my dealer hold the stakes? Sure. Charlie. Uh, sure thing, Mr. Dokes. Well, how about the rest of you people? Would you care to bet? Give me 20 at the eye. You have a bet, my friend. Well, he's so puny he couldn't pull his hat off. I say this program will hang up his boots before the sun goes down. You going to cover me? Sure will. Sure. Hey, what's happening? Help me hold him down, soldier. All right. What's the matter? What's got into him? Well, it looks like he's going into convulsions. This ought to be it. Looks like I just made me some easy money. Hey, hey, hey look at his hand. It's clutching at the air. Uh, like he wants something. What's that soldier doing? He's digging something out of his pocket. Looks like a book. It's a Bible. He's putting it in that preacher's hand. Well, I'll be dang. Look at that. He just calmed right down. Well, it don't look like he's going to finish his ride for sundown after all. That's one tough preacher, Mr. Dokes. So he seems. Sure sets a lot of store by that book. Well, if this is going to take a while, I need me a drink. How is he, Sheriff? Uh, fever's down. That book you just put in his hand, soldier. Is it yours? Uh, no, it's his, I guess. <laughs> hey, Nellie. Give me the same odds as Mr. Doak. I'll give you enough. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars, gentlemen, that he doesn't last until sundown. I'll take fifteen dollars. <laughs> I'll take them odds. 
<laughs> Charlie, Charlie, here is one thousand dollars. Cover every bet against his last until Sunday. Yes, sir, Mr. Joe. I've got a bit of business of my own to attend to now, Charlie. I'll be back before it's dark. Okay, well. All right. Everybody's got a chance. Now, just put your money where your mouth is. Yes, sir. How much? Yeah, $100. Come on over here. Step on it up. How much? Come on. Come on. The man that just placed that bet, that big fella, he's the trail boss you're looking for. Good. Yeah, but if you get any money out of him, soldier, you'll be the first one to do it. What do you mean? I brung in his tray. And the nearest thing we got to a barber shop or a hot water in this town is a cow dip in back of the livery stable. Ten bucks. He blows out his lamp. Uh, hold his elbow down. And that twenty dollars says he won't be having supper with St. Peter till after dark. Look at him. Still clutching that Bible for dear life. Well, let's get on with it. What, what's them things for? Well, the slug entered the ensiform cartilage, passed through his diaphragm. How's that? How much you bet in there? It's $25. All right, more bet. bet. It's against his rib. We'll have to use his instruments to get it out. We? Who do you think I am? You're a thief and a liar. No, just well, What don't. else did you steal from him? Nothing. Five dollars. Soldier, I hope we aren't going to have a misunderstanding. He was bushwhacked. I just found him, that's all. Two reasons a man gets bushwhacked, love or money. Now, he didn't have any money to speak of, did he? Oh, no, he didn't. Nothing else, huh? Let's have it. All right. There's his wallet. It was only a couple of greenbacks anyway. That is? That's it. All of it. Honest. Oh. Must have been love. Preacher, preacher. Five hours says he finishes his circle of four Sunday. Now you put some of these acid salts in that hot water and stir it up for these instruments. Reverend? Reverend? I gotta tell you something. I haven't got any chloroform. The best I can do is lot them. Now, yeah, try and swallow this. Just, just sip it, Reverend. That's right. I'll make it as much weight as you make it. Look, the sheriff's getting ready to operate. Oh, right, now. Now we can get it on it. The hair's kind of in the butter now, ain't it? Now, you people, get back. I need the light. We want to know exactly what you're going to do. I'm going to widen the opening so I can probe the bullet out. We don't like that. You can make it worse for him, you know. We got money bet on him not passing in his chips till sundown. So you just leave him be the way he is, Sheriff. We don't want him cut or poked inside. Get back. All right. You'll have to keep holding that gun, Sheriff. We ain't going to let you cut him. We got an investment here. Soldier, take my gun. You're my deputy. Kill the first man that tries to stop me. What? I ain't been sworn. You're appointed. All right. Now, you get back now, you hear? And let him do what he has to do. Pull back the hammer, son. All right. Now, everybody get back. Now, tell them to put their guns on that table while I go after this bullet. You heard him. Come on. Come on. Let's have them all. That looks like the lot, Sheriff. Fandango? Yes, sir? Empty all those guns. Get Pete from behind the bar to help you. Oh. Give him another sip of love. It's kind of hard when I'm holding the gun at the same time. All right, now. I found the bullet, mister. We'll have it out of you in, in no time. I think I, I, think I, I got it. Yep. There it is. Guns are all empty, Sheriff. All right, you men. You can go back to your bedding now. Now, we'll just get you sewed up. You know, Sheriff, I ain't never had a chance to study the higher branches of information through book learning. But I can tell you've done this kind of work before, ain't you? That's right. Where? Laredo. Where'd you learn it? Laredo. Laredo, huh? Well, I never figured a man could learn much of anything in Texas, particularly Laredo. But I'll say this for you. You sure learned real good. I had to, son. I was carrying the slug. 
Fifteen dollars. Sixty. All right, step up and don't push, boys. Don't push. It's ten after four. There's not much time left before sundown. You think you up the odds, Jenny? On account of removing the bullet, I mean? I don't know, soldier. I reckon we'll just have to wait and see how much ginger that preacher's got in him. Understand you type fast. Yes. Accurate? Well... That's okay. You'll be typing on Sears' exclusive corrector electric typewriter with easy correction and more. It's Sears' best. Try typing Sears' corrector typewriter. Whoops. Now, first, Sears is S-E-A-R-S, not Z. So, backspace to the incorrect letter. Tap the correction key. Now the mistake is blocked out. Next, type the correct letter. Then proceed. Yes, Daddy. The word's out and spreading fast about the jeans from Sears Men's Store that grow beautifully. It's a sure sign they're feeling fine and feeling good. For the denim that keeps going strong a long time. Get them trim cut, regular cut, even get them pre-washed. The jeans that grow beautifully. Now at most Sears retail stores. How long do your pantyhose last? Do you want the answer in minutes or hours? You should try Sears and Dolby. The pantyhose that lasted an average of 18 days of the only wear and a test of 400 women. The women in our test wore Dolby's day after day after day and as a group averaged 18 days. A patented process makes them strong so they last. And sheer, so they look great. No pantyhose lasts forever. How long do your pantyhose last? In Dolby. At larger Sears retail stores. This is Lorne Green with the concluding act of Powder River Policy. Sun's getting pretty low, Sheriff. Yep. What time is it now? Uh, 4.30. Less than an hour to go before sunset. I got $50, Sheriff. Green pea don't make it to sundown. Then I got 50 bucks, says he's down. Take the man's money. Who's next? Now, listen up. Yeah, I got me a feeling about this here sin buster. He can stand for all that cutting and poking around inside of him and still ain't whispering through his belly button. <laughs> he must be a pretty tough preacher. <laughs> and I'm laying down 40 bucks. Better he make sure. <laughs> you got yourself a bet. I'm saying he don't make it. Yeah, me too. Soldier, come over here with me. <laughs> what for now? Uh, there you go. Trail boss? Yeah. I'm minding my own business. Oh, my. Come here. Look, I, I ain't one of the guys who tried to stop you from operating. My bet goes the other way. Now, both of you, come with me. Well, what do you want? That steer there, is he uh, yours? Yeah. Well, give this soldier here $15. For what? For bringing him in. I found him straying. Now, how do I know that? He was out there, and I brung him in. You take my word. And I can't do that. Then you can take my word. All right. Found it, soldier. Yep. All there? Yep. Take your steer. He looks kind of skinny as a rail to me. What are you trying to do? Uh, Run him to death? Thank you, Sheriff. Here are your papers. So long. So long? Wait. Ain't I a deputy no more? Nope. I didn't even feel it when I got undeputized. All right. Help me look through that preacher things in the back of his wagon. Here. You look through these letters. It don't seem right to be reading a man's private letters, particularly a preacher's. Can you read? Of course I can read. I'm just a little rough. Sheriff. Sure. Look here. Money. Let me see. I didn't know that was there, honest. I believe you. That's a lot of dinero for a preacher to be carrying. Just about enough. For what? To build a church. Where was he going to do that? Right here. Build a church and get married. Married? How do you know that? All right, where is it? 
Well, what? Well, it looks to me like there used to be a picture in that preacher's watch. Yeah. And here it is. Now, I know what you think, but that's the last of what I took, I swear. And I only took it because she's the closest I've been to a pretty gal since I was duty in that Fort Fetterman. That's a fact, Sheriff. That's the truth. I didn't think it made much difference taking that little picture. I mean, him being the way he was. Ah, keep it. Huh? He won't be needed. How do you know? I know. You know it all along? Yep. Then what the heck were we doing? I thought we did something in there. I thought we did something. With that slug out of him, he might last long enough to tell me who shot him. That's it? That's it. But he's going to die anyhow? That's right. He's going to die. That's wrong. Huh? Damn you. You can't say if a man's going to live or die any more than you can say he's going to get born. I know I ain't nothing but a worn-out horse trooper, and I can't read, and I can't play the piano, but I've seen a lot of men dying, enough to know a lot can be saved if they've got some reason to. More reason than a book in his hand. You know that woman, don't you? Don't you? I know her. He was coming to build a church and marry her. That means she's waiting here for him right now, ain't she? That's right. She came from Sacramento six months ago. Well, why ain't you fetched her? I want to see her. You tell me where she is, Sheriff. Why? Because that's my policy. She's in the hotel over there. Second floor. Room in the front. What is it? Ma'am, I come to see you. It's important. Yes? I... I seen your picture. What? Don't ask me how. But I, I know you've been waiting for the preacher to come to get you. Who are you? You don't know me. No way you could or ever would. But I come to see you and tell you that you... You? What's the matter? What's he doing here? Hello. What seems to be the problem? Well, you're... You're Mr. Dokes, ain't you? The, the fellow that runs that... The saloon, yes. What do you want? Oh, well, maybe that sheriff ain't so dumb after all. Will you please tell me what this is all about? Nothing to worry about, my dear. I come over here to talk to her, not to you. She and I don't have any secrets. Who is this man? That's a stray who brought in a stray. Ma'am, I got something I want to show you. What? Told you. This picture. Where did you get that? I got it from the Reverend. He's here. Here? In town? That's right. He's here and he's hurt. Somebody shot him. Why didn't you tell her he was all shot up, Mr. Dokes, if you don't have any secrets? I think you'd better leave, my friend. I ain't your friend. It was my own idea coming here, lady. And maybe it wasn't any kind of an idea to have at all. No, well, wait, please. Wait. Don't go, please. Let him go. We both know why you've been here all this time. Wait. Please, wait. Stop. Please stop. Let me talk to you. What do you care what happened to him? He don't mean nothing to you. You have no right to say a thing like that. I've been with him all day, watching him bleeding and moaning. Bleeding? What happened? Oh, please, please tell me. Tell you what. That reverend's got a lot of gravel in his gizzard and enough hell in his neck to drive that buckboard all the way from Omaha to marry you. That's a thousand miles with a wind tearing and pulling at you night and day. He's worth a hundred like that, Mr. Dokes. I want to go to him. He needs me. Where is if you he? cared where he is or what happened to him, you wouldn't have been with that gambler. I was hoping that you'd be able to say something to him. Something that would make him open his eyes. A man's got to be wanted. Where is he? Please tell me where he is. He's in there, in the saloon, dying. Dying? Yes, dying. Oh, God. No, you can't mean that. I mean it. Ask the sheriff there. Oh, let me go. And you want to know why he's dying? It ain't that bullet that the sheriff took out of his belly. 
It's because he ain't got no reason. No reason at all. So, you went and got her. She don't deserve to see him. Six months is a long time for a woman like that. To wait in a place like this. Who did this terrible thing? Someone who knew he was on his way here. Oh, John. (laughs) John, do you recognize me? (laughs) He's going to be fine. Honest. What's the matter, soldier? I thought you didn't figure she had any right here. Here comes Mr. Dalton. Oh, Oh, Charlie, are we all covered? Uh, Every last dollar, Mr. Dokes. Why, well, you're sweating, Charlie. Why are you sweating? I always sweat around money. That's, that's the way I am. Hey, looky there. The sun's on its way down. That preacher's still breathing. Oh, Sheriff, can't you do something for him? Couldn't you get him to hold on for another two minutes, Sheriff? Be much obliged. <laughs> Just breathe natural, right? <laughs> you speak to him, miss. Oh, John... It's me, John. I'm here. I'm with you, John. You know, a pretty calico like that can't bring him up talking more than Ken. <laughs> no, heck, he's been dead ever since he got in here. Just ain't stopped breathing yet. <laughs> His eyes, they've opened. Reverend, I'm the sheriff. Can you tell me who shot you? <laughs> Reverend? <laughs> Oh, John. Oh, oh, he's dead. Oh, John. Is he sheriff? Is he? Oh, no. Dang. Oh, left me a month. I said he'd never make it. Is he dead, Sheriff? Yes, Mr. Dogs. I want to see your gun. I don't carry one, Sheriff. Ever. Two minutes of sundown. I win. I'm buying drinks for everybody. Everybody. Soldier, let me get this body out of here. Mr. Dokes is getting on his horse. Before he goes, I need a word with him. Dokes, hold on. Yes, sir. What is it? Don't own a gun, huh? What's this carbine in your saddle? I said I didn't carry one. That's an English-made Hensley. The bullet I took out of the Reverend was from a gun like that. Dokes, you're under arrest. Get off that horse. No. You know, I was hoping that preacher would get up and say something. Say he was hungry. I was hoping... That's what you work at every day. Hope. Look. 
I might as well tell you, I was lying about going to Cheyenne to be a crook spotter. I know. Huh? I saw the way you handled a gun. I don't like guns. Neither do I. I noticed. Hey, Sheriff, I was thinking, I... I figure I'm entitled to a warm corner around here. There's a room back in my office. There's three meals a day that go with it. Twenty bucks a month. For what? Well, whatever I think up for you to do. God Almighty. He wants me. The son of a gun wants me. with the classic collection separates at Sears. Now you can buy the pants to a suit, the vest to a suit, and the jacket to a suit separately. So every well-tailored piece of the outfit you buy is geared to your size and build. You can create a more casual look with solid color blazers and patterned slacks, or patterned sport coats and solid color slacks. The colors coordinate to let you mix and match. Now that's style, sense, and satisfaction. The classic collection at most larger Sears retail stores. Pete has a pet spread with all the muscle to resist the wear and tear it gets from high-spirited kids. It's Tough Cord, a sturdy blend of 75% polyester and 25% rayon. Choose from bunk twin and full sizes in 10 bright solid colors or five coordinating pads. All machine washable and permapress for no fuss, easy care. When you want value in a strong and sturdy bed spread, look for Tough Cord. Because kids not only sleep in their bedrooms, they play there too. At most Sears retail stores. Join millions of Americans and shop the easy way with a Sears credit card. All you do to apply is call toll-free 800-526-0444. It's your entry to shopping convenience and quality merchandise. Your card will be accepted at over 3,600 Sears stores across the nation. And you can choose from over 100,000 Sears products and services. Even use it for your catalog orders. In the store or over the phone, just pay charges. Call 800-526-0444. New Jersey residents, call 800-652-2777 for your Sears credit card. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops. Powder River Policy was written by Percy Granger. Adapted from the screenplay by E. Jack Newman. Produced and directed by Elliot Lewis. Your host was Lorne Green. Our stars were John Larch and Sam Edwards. Also heard were Ben Wright, Bert Holland, Mary Jane Croft, Tyler McVeigh, Herb Vigran, and Don Diamond. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. Mark Gilmore speaking. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI. CBS News. President Carter extends his Mideast trip another day amid signs he'll return home without a peace treaty between Israel and Egypt. This is Doug Poling reporting on the CBS Radio Network. American officials are still hoping for a breakthrough, but are saying the president has not achieved what he set out to do. A report from Dan Raviv in Jerusalem. President Carter has only one more negotiating session scheduled before he leaves, a working breakfast with Prime Minister Begin. Israeli officials say more progress could be made at that meeting, a code word for the possibility that Begin may suggest some compromises on the issues still in dispute between Israel and Egypt. Well-placed people in both the American and Israeli delegations say the number of issues unresolved has been reduced by Mr. Carter's personal diplomacy. The Americans are not willing to say whether the remaining issues are the easiest or the toughest. And in general, the U.S. side is grim, admitting that the president has failed to wrap up a Middle East peace treaty. Israeli officials are much more upbeat, saying important issues have been resolved. Some sources adding that a compromise has been reached on that old, tough issue of linking this treaty to Palestinian autonomy. The Israelis suggest that the Carter White House is suggesting failure now, because if and when there is a final breakthrough, it will look all that much better. Dan Raviv for CBS News.
Jerusalem. On his way home tomorrow, the president plans to stop at Cairo Airport for a talk with President Sadat about the negotiations in Israel. More news in a moment. Take your contact. Take it now. Can your cold medicine fight the congestion, shrink the swollen membranes, help relieve the runny, sneezy, cloggy misery caused by every known cold virus? Contact can. Does your cold medicine have anything like 600 tiny time pills? Can it fight those virus symptoms up to 12 continuous hours all day while you work? Contact can. And at night, can you take your medicine at bedtime, get relief all night while you rest, then wake up tomorrow with that same medicine still working? Today's contact can do all that. All day while you work, all night while you rest. No matter what cold virus attacks, that's the wonder of contact. Take your contact, take it now. Keep your cold, keep contact. Contact, take only as directed. Commerce Department reports retail sales rose a modest six-tenths of a percent in February, another hint that consumers may be slowing down their spending after the boom of late last year. A prediction tonight that last year's housing boom will not continue this year. The Dodge Division of McGraw-Hill says housing starts should slow down about 15% from 1978 levels. Tom Allen, a McGraw-Hill spokesman, says don't look for any break in housing prices. Uh, housing prices should continue to rise. Um, there'll be a slowdown in building probably after the next decade when housing prices begin to fall off because demand will, will shrink. And it's the demand that keeps the, uh, that keeps the prices high for the time being. Allen says despite the predicted slump for this year, the 1980s should be boom times for housing. The nation's trucking industry today rejected the initial wage demands and contract talks in Washington with the Teamsters Union. The Federal Mediation Service says it will join the bargaining tomorrow. The current three-year contract covering some 300,000 truck drivers expires March 31st. U.S. space officials report the first discovery of active volcanoes in outer space. They say at least six active volcanoes are spewing up solid material and gas from Io, one of the moons of the planet Jupiter. The volcanoes were discovered in photographs taken by Voyager 1, which passed by Jupiter earlier this month. Supreme Court Justice Lewis Powell has been admitted to Bethesda Naval Hospital near Washington for surgery later in the week. The 71-year-old Powell will have a benign tumor in the colon removed. Senator Lowell Weicker of Connecticut today declared his candidacy for the 1980 Republican presidential nomination. Weicker conceded his liberalism could cause him problems in some GOP circles. He said, for the nomination, I'm the longest shot in the field. But Weicker added, for the election, I'm the best shot in the field. Now this. Brad, it's after midnight. Oh, look what you've done. Will you stop eating and go to bed? You'll never get up in the morning for work. I can't get to sleep. I took an aspirin, but I'm still wide awake. Well, what did you expect? Aspirin's for headaches. You need a sleeping aid to help you fall asleep. I'll get you some Compose when I go shopping. Some what? Compose. Go to bed, will you, while I clean up this mess? Headache? Take aspirin. Sleepless night? Take Compose. C-O-M-P-O-Z. Take in a directive before you go to bed. Compose actually helps you fall asleep when you want to fall asleep at bedtime. So what else happened at the office today, Fred? Did you get the order for that new job? Fred? Fred, you asleep? That's Compose for you. Headache? Take aspirin. Sleepless night? Take Compose. C O M. P-O-Z. Take only as directed. Compose is available at all drug counters. The head of the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization says more than a billion people live in absolute poverty and destitution. He also says the problem is getting worse. In Rome, Edouard Soma, director general of the FAO, called for a worldwide direct assault on poverty. He said a comprehensive world strategy to stimulate economic growth is needed. This is Doug Poling, CBS News. Good evening, I'm Jackson Kane, KMOX News. St. Louis public school teachers are voting tonight on a tentative agreement hammered out over the weekend. If accepted, the eight-week-old strike could be over by tomorrow. If the vote is yes, teachers would presumably go to work tomorrow in order to get ready for Wednesday classes. They are also under a court order to report to work Wednesday. 
No terms of the tentative agreement have been released, but an agreement is believed to call for a larger increase in wages than were contained in what the school board called its best and final offer two weeks ago. Labor problems, meanwhile, still plague General Electric of St. Louis. 105 members of the electricians' union struck last Friday in a dispute over work issues. There are no meetings set at this time, and the plant has been closed down by the walkout. Pickets are up. The Missouri National Education Association said it still doesn't fully support the concept of statewide competency tests. The group's president said, however, it will work with other public school officials to implement the program anyway. The basic essential skills test, known as BEST, will be given to each 8th grade public school pupil for the first time this spring. That test is intended to determine how well children can handle practical, everyday problems based on what they have learned in school. President Carter has declared northwestern Missouri a disaster area. A state of emergency was declared because of the impact of ice jams and flooding in Andrew County early in March. Mr. Carter's action permits the donation of federally owned mobile homes to the state to provide temporary housing for those families who lost their homes as a result of the ice jams and flooding. And the weather for the St. Louis metropolitan area, clear tonight, low around 40. Mostly sunny skies, warmer tomorrow with a high in the 60s. Then we have considerable cloudiness, colder weather Tuesday night, low near 30, partly cloudy.